How are you feeling, our hero of the day? Everything will be all right, buddy, don't worry. Why do you guys fly into those? Hey there, fellows. Look at this lovely thing that I got on this lot. Um, it is an enormous turbocharger. It is for a Kirovitz tractor, and it is a mighty unit. But that's beside the point. In today's video, we would like to experiment and see, well, how durable this is. For example, airplanes, they sometimes suffer bird strikes, and a lot of times the engines are fine after that. What about a turbocharger for a car? Can it survive foreign objects going through it? Well, let's find out. And I suggest we start with something that won't put too much strain on the turbo. I've got me some Orbeez. These pellets have already soaked in a bit of water. They're all nice and soft. But now let's see whether a turbo is able to survive something like this. If we throw in some crystal gel pellets. What can I tell you? We have made an impressive meat grinder. At the very least, it handily chewed through the Morbies. So the Orbeez just went straight through. And now I suggest we toss in this banana. Fired up. The turbo was spinning, but it just didn't want to suck this banana in. Right, guys, now given that the turbo it refused to gobble on this banana, with the Elada motor not being able to get it up to a good speed, we have decided to also throw a 1J into the mix. It's nothing too complicated. We just placed the engine next to our car, prepared it for starting up, and hopefully the two engines are up to accelerating the turbocharger. We're about to find out whether that's the case. Go ahead and start the engines. Okay, a lot of engines running. Rev them up. Okay, well, we're getting somewhere. Sucked the banana right in. Oh, wow, now I'm noticing... Yeah, that odor is not all that... Pleasant. I guess bananas don't go well with motor oil. That's what makes engines unhappy. Okay, guys, this turbo seems to have developed an appetite. You saw how it ate that banana. But I've also got me this right here. A little jellyfish. Start them before this runs away. Let's see how they're able to deal with this. <laughs> Didn't last long at all. Oh my, it has gotten everywhere. So next up, we're going to toss in these grade A tomatoes. I mean, just look at the superb quality of these. Start them. Oh, 
They made quick work of the tomatoes. Should have also grabbed some garlic, horseradish, sugar and salt to your liking, and we would have had us some nice hranovinum. But look here, as long as we're tossing in softer items, stuff that's not all that hard, the turbo is doing quite well, nothing's wrong with it. Wheel is okay, shaft is not binding. Yeah, nothing's broken. But let's bring this up a notch. We're gonna grab some of these chicken eggs. They are on the small side, but they'll do. Fire them up. All right, the compressor wheel is fine. Eggshells aren't a problem for it. Okay, now I think we should feed it some sausages. Fire them up. Gobbled it right up. So after feeding it the right thing to do, well, uh, we don't have any toothpicks, but we'll clean out the wheel with some matches. It is a thing, but start the engines, let's give it a clean. That was not bad at all. That was like more than half of the box. And it just did not give a damn. And now we're gonna try and see what happens when the turbo suffers a bird strike. We got this pigeon in, don't be scared, buddy. Let her rip. There's a bunch of stuff. Feathers and what else have you? Nice. Okay, guys, well, everything is happy to turn. The wheel is just fine, and we have established that turbochargers are not afraid of bird strikes. Now, that was obviously a joke. No pigeons were harmed in the making of this video. That being said... We did bring with us some actual bits of bird. Fire them up. It was getting there, but the wheel axis got in the way once again. Nice! So this is pretty interesting. The turbo has picked the meat off. Didn't want to eat the bone though. Like, you can keep the bone. <laughs> So if a small bird finds its way in there, it has no chance. It's going to be spat, well, not out, but straight into the engine. Now, there is a certain filter called the intercooler that might get in the way, but it might not. Anyway, so the turbo has been faring very well so far, and so I suggest we try feeding it this. Let's imagine you're driving somewhere in the bushes, all of a sudden the turbo sucks in a branch, yeah, start the engines. Oh. 
Alright, so that brand shit was pretty much pulverized. Turned into dust. It is no more, sadly. No damage to the actual turbo. Isn't that something? Now we've got this plastic thing, you might have guessed what it is. And here we go, let's ruthlessly stuff this into the turbo. The contents of the tube have wrapped themselves around the wheel. Okay, so it chews through plastic. Let's try plastic and rubber with a bit of something else. This is a windshield wiper I've got here. It just fell apart. Oh, see what has happened to it? It has become jaggeder. Holy cow. Must have been the steel part of it. I would have cleared this up. Yeah, this was too hard. It has sustained a bit of damage. Should we up the ante? How? Alright, we've prepared some bolts, screws. You'll find a bunch of those in cars. But what's gonna happen if they get sucked in by a turbo? It just doesn't care. Okay guys, so the turbo just chews through everything. So it is safe to say that it is reliable. And before we get to the next item that we're going to feed, we really need to give it a bit of time to chill. Give it a little break for it to go have a smoke. It has definitely earned it. Well, guys, this seems to be a turbo of exceptional quality. But to be honest, we're a bit sick and tired of it at this point. So I've decided to stick in this metal bar. Is it gonna hold up? Start the engines and let's find out. Wait a second. Okay guys, so rebar versus turbo, and the turbo obviously lost. We've broken a lot of stuff, but the turbo is still operational, the wheel spins. And so the quality of Russian-made turbochargers is exceptional. Tell us what else we can do with this turbo. And that's it for this video, catch you guys later.